10 tips for working with text. Number 10, how to add text. Use the type tool to create your text. You can do this by going to the toolbar to activate it or press the T key to use this tool. Once the type tool is active, go to the program monitor and click on any portion within this panel to create your text. Then type out your text. Double click on your text in the program monitor to highlight your text. Then go to the essential graphics panel. You can do this by going to the windows tab and click on essential graphics. When the essential graphics window appears, you want to make sure you're in the edit tab of the essential graphics panel. Go to the text section and you can change the font to your choosing. I'm currently using Montserrat bold. Then go to the align and transform section and go to the scale icon. Hover over the blue number value and drag it to the right to increase the size of your text. Number nine, how to center text. In the essential graphics panel, go to the align and transform section and click on the align center horizontally icon and then select the align center vertically icon to center your text. Number eight, changing the color of text. Go to the appearance section and then click on fill. The color picker window will appear and choose the color of your choosing and press OK. If you want to change the color of one letter, highlight the letter you want to change and go back to the fill section and choose the color you want for that letter. Number seven, how to make text in all caps. If you want to make all of your text in all caps, make sure all of your text is highlighted. You can do this by double clicking on the text box and go to the text section in the essential graphics panel and click on the all caps icon. And this will make all of your text uppercase. Number six, how to fade text in and out. Press shift seven to go to the effects panel and in the search bar, type in cross dissolve. Drag and drop the cross dissolve transition to the beginning of your text. To fade the text out, all you have to do is add another cross dissolve transition to the end of the text. To adjust the duration of the transition, all you have to do is hover over the corners of the transition until the transition icon appears. If you want to shorten the transition, drag it inwards to make it smaller or drag it outwards to make it bigger. Number five, outlining your text. Double click on your text so that it will highlight your text and then go to the appearance section and disable fill and enable stroke. You can make the outline of your text bigger or smaller by hovering over the blue value next to stroke and drag it to the right to make it bigger or drag it to the left to make it smaller. Number four, changing the opacity of text. Make sure your text is selected in the timeline and go to the align and transform section. Then go to the toggle animation for opacity icon and use the slider here to bring down the opacity. You can also go to the effect controls window and go to the opacity section and change the opacity here. If you hover over the blue slider, you can adjust the value of the opacity. Sliding it to the left will decrease the value of the opacity and sliding it to the right will increase the value of the opacity. You can also type in the value of the opacity as well. Number three, adding drop shadow. In the essential graphics panel, go to the appearance section and enable shadow and click on it and open the color picker window. Choose black and press OK. Then go to the drop shadow size slider and increase the size to your liking to cast a bigger shadow on your text. Number two, quickly exiting the text tool. To quickly exit the text tool, press the escape key on your keyboard to deselect the text and then press the V key to go back to the selection tool. Number one, adding background fill. To add background fill to your text, go to the appearance section and enable background. Click on the color picker icon to bring up the color picker window. Then select the color of your choosing and press OK. To increase the size of the background, go to size and adjust the size 
to your choosing. If you want to change the opacity of the background, go to opacity and use a slider here to decrease or increase the opacity. If you want the background fill to have rounded corners, go to corner radius and increase the corner radius. And these are 10 tips for working with text in Premiere Pro. Like and subscribe for more Premiere Pro tutorials, and I'll see you on the next one.